You're listening to the Influence Unlocked podcast. I'm Samantha Dyback, the founder and managing director of the PR Hub. Every founder, disruptor, and CEO has a story. But this podcast is about going beyond the press release. If you've ever dreamed of sitting down with an industry leader or a self-made millionaire and getting to the bottom of who they are and what makes them tick, you're in the right place. Get ready to unlock your influence. It's an it's a interesting thing to ponder because I think sometimes business people get scared to build a personal brand because like mm. you said, it can get attached to you and then it's all about you and you can't mm. take a step back. Yeah. Is there something that you wish you had done differently? Oh, totally. Um, I think the biggest mistake I made was not admitting that I needed help. If you look back on this entire journey, what has been the most surprising thing about it all for you? You know, there I was try, trying to tell someone who had been around way longer than I was that we were going to do a better job and and I had to try and believe that myself um so it was nerve-wracking but but I but I just you know like fo- followed my nose in terms of determination and, and went for it mentioned dark times mm. a few times now how do you individually mentally recharge mm. being responsible for so many people as the leader of finder.com and also for yourself as an entrepreneur just dealing with the day-to-day and and you know the highs and the lows mm. You know, I, I've been through quite a few dark times. And I'd actually say, you know, I'm gonna put this, this is very vulnerable again, we're sharing today. We are. Um, I'm actually coming out of one of these right now. I'm actually on the up. Um, I hit really low over the holidays. I was like, over the last say three months, I was pretty down, I was pretty down. I mentioned a little bit about you as a 15 year old and working with yep. your father. Can you tell us a bit more about what you were like as a youngster and what you think it is from that time that shapes or defines who you are today? Um, I was a smart ass when I was younger. Uh, that's probably the best way to put it. How do you deal when you get those knockbacks and a sponsor says, sorry, Emily, not this time? What, what do you do to get through that? I remind myself that for every, for every hundred no's, there's got to be one yes. What's the best piece of career advice you've ever received? Time is really the best judge because people are like, oh, that person's an amazing business person. Well, that person's no good or whatever, but the best judge is just time. Perseverance will always trump talent. There's no shortcuts to be successful. Not that I'm successful, but I'm just saying you should not take shortcuts in, in, in anything. What's the point? Life's too short for shortcuts. A lot of the best things that have ever happened to me in terms of career or personal life, to be honest, have come from like facing a fear and just doing it anyway. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. It just, it, it is absolutely what sums me up. So you're authentic um, and, and real and that's important. But he said, don't get so close that you can't kick your ass. 